the disrespect towards a senior you're 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 that. actually this is this is blowing my mind right now ruth he didn't need permission uh, to talk to you yeah, he's right honestly she shouldn't be a senior she is the biggest problem out of all that the whole situation i don't think you're gonna like what i'm gonna say but i'm gonna say it what's that officers are captain shopping They've made that very clear. They want to go and talk to who they want to and not tell the full whatever they want to say to each captain. Now that you have individually spoken to Shiesty, I think you need to offer the other two the ability to speak with them alone. Which I think, if we make that a habit, is going to cause all of us to have to complete three separate investigations to deal with things. No, I, I think I we get everybody in the same room. and we. No, you just spoke to Shiesty alone. You need to speak to the other two alone. No, we get them all in the same room because he's stating things nope. that aren't. Right. And that's the thing. But you gave him an opportunity to speak to you alone. Now you need to give the other two an opportunity to speak to you alone. No, which we, is the we issue get them all I in have. the same room. Turner, they are command shopping. Captain shopping. A hundred percent. You, I think you need to speak to Aziz alone. And I think you need to speak to Sonya alone now that you spoke to Shaisi alone, which is why I don't How think... is that going to help anything when you've already written everything they said? Okay. If they want to talk, I'll Anything talk to them, Shaisi sure. say you change what your opinion yeah then you need to talk to the other two alone as well well their statements are saying something different why don't we why don't we get them all together exactly talk but they're not going to say it in front of okay, each other and they're voice. not going to say it in front Easy. of me all right no i am really upset because no, you, you, i feel you like you're overstepping down a bit, okay you are overstepping. i'm overstepping i'm overstepping yes if an officer yes. wants to talk to me about a situation that he's potentially going to get fired for and he knows that okay then, we're then, actively investigating something right, you we're actively discipline somebody you have a conversation with somebody, you're disciplining them, and then I go and say, here, I'm going to talk to you alone without the other captain. Yeah. You don't feel like if that's If they want to talk on... alone, then they could they could talk to me alone. That doesn't change the outcome of it, right? I mean, it changed your opinion of it. Do you think he would have said everything he said if I was there? Yeah, I think so. I don't think so, because you know what he said to me? He wouldn't even answer questions. It was all one-word answers. He wouldn't answer questions? He he was very quick to answer. I asked if there was anything he wanted to tell me. He had a longer conversation with you than he did with me because he doesn't want to talk to me. Because he wants to talk to a captain that he believes is on his side. You think I'm on his side? I think the fact that you had a conversation with him without me and you're not willing to do it for the other two, yes. I'm not I willing to. No, I'm, I'm willing to. If they come to me and ask me to talk about the situation, I'll talk to them. I'm not going to reach out to them, though. He reached out to me. Okay, I'll let the others to room. reach out to you first. This is, I mean, I think this is my okay. issue of you're, I feel you're like starting to get step. really, you're really childish with this. All right, you're yeah, you're, over you're me. talking over me too when I'm talking as well. So I'm gonna say this: you're starting to get very childish with this. This needs to stop. I think you are. We stepping get them on my all. Toes. No, I, well, no, we, we we all have the same toes, right? We all need to get in the same room and sort it out. So, There's no point in playing this this game of telephone. We need to get in the same room and sort it out. All right, I'm gonna give you the scenario. Andrews has a hat. He doesn't think he should get dapped. I go have a separate conversation with him after you've already dealt with it. After you've already had your conversation. Okay. Do you feel like that's me overstepping? No. You don't think that me going behind your back and having another conversation with an officer that you already dealt with? I don't think that's behind my back. I think you need to afford the ability for the other two to give their side to you individually as well. Why individually? Why not get them in a room and sort because it out? Because you okay, just you're talking had over individually. Me. You're talking over me. You, you want me to talk over you? No. So, why not get them in a room? All of us get around a table, do whatever we got to do, and sort this out so that we have no holes. If somebody has a discrepancy with something, we can figure out this timeline and put it all together in one spot instead of taking one person's statement, another person's statement, another's, and then everybody's contradicting, contradicting each other or has different point of views. Right, but you talk to him alone. So why don't the other two get that ability? They do. If they want to reach out, they can. I have a warrant I want to sign. I talk to you. You don't like it. I go to another captain and give it to them. What is that? Without any changes? Yes. I don't know what you call that. It's not good. That's what I feel is happening here. Yeah, but I'm not making a decision. I'm not saying yes or no right now. I, I have the exact same process in which we're going to take which is meeting at four eastern like we just said before we went in there we're all going to meet we're going to talk about it so we can create this timeline because one one statement saying one thing another statement saying another and another statement saying another so instead of sitting there and playing this phone tag and trying to fill in the, the points we we set just we set up a timeline okay. and we sit there and talk but then what happens if 
everybody's not available today. That's something we haven't thought about yet. That is something I'm thinking about because there is a good chance that is the case. Let's try to reach out for Dorolo, see if Dorolo could be around as well as uh, uh, Aziz. Do we know if Slax is available? Slax said he'll be around. He said he'd be around. I told him it'd have to be in shift one. He said he'll be around for it. I just think we need to respect other captains' investigations without trying to insert ourselves. If we're doing a group one, it needs to be all handled in a group and not... Not you can have a separate statement, you can have a separate statement. A I'm not, statements I'm not were taken. anything down either. Okay. None of, this statement. None of this is fact, right? But if he wants to talk, I'm not going to tell him to, to piss off. The officer called you and, and wanted to talk to you about a situation. Well, you're going to tell him to go away? I'm... If, if it was a situation the other captain was dealing with, I would state that if, especially if we had something pending, I'd say we can talk when we we're all talking later. Right. But you're not the only captain dealing with it. We all are, right? Right. But I mean, if you were dealing with a situation and an officer who you were already handling wanted to talk, I would, and we already had a plan to all talk as a group later, I would let them know we'll talk when we talk later. Yeah, but I, I again, I, I would have, I, I'll, I'll listen to anybody. If somebody wants to come to me and they're, they're being scrutinized for a situation, or being reprimanded, I'll at least hear him out. Yeah, always. Uh, yeah, I just, I think that's a bit overstepping on, I mean, if Slacks is dealing with something, I am not going to have a separate conversation. We're dealing with it, right? And right. we are, but I mean, changed. he is the one, right, he is the one that is like the main person that was investigating and took statements. That's like, so I take a statement from a witness and then I go up and be like, I don't really trust that statement, let me get my own. Because that's what it feels like. That's different if I reached out. He reached out to me, though. He said he wanted to talk. I assumed it was about that situation. But, but I'm, if an officer wants to talk to me, has a problem, or, or whatever the case is, I'm going to give him give him my ear, at least. I, I, I told him nothing was set in stone, and we need to we need to meet at 4 o'clock so we can fill in the gaps. That's it. There, there's no nothing more than that. I, I just think you need to afford that opportunity to both of the others. And if anybody wants to contact me to explain it, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm not going to reach out for it, though, since you already have. Okay. I, I, I just think it is overstepping. I think I think overstepping would be if I told him he did nothing wrong and he shouldn't get down for this. I think that'd be overstepping. If you offer it to one, you got to offer it to all. I didn't offer it, though. He came to if me. If you allow it for one, you need to... Absolutely. If they came to me, I would, I, would, I would give them the time. But you're not going to be on duty again until that time. I mean, I'll be on duty another three, three and a half, maybe. I'm not intentionally avoiding people, but if they're around and they want to approach and talk to me about it, they can. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm more than willing to, to talk to you. Flax about this as well. His uh, input. Guys, relax. Be nice. Uh, are you going to reach out to the other two or you want me to? I, if they come on duty, I'll talk to them. You don't want to reach out to them? No. Why? Uh, because I believe this should be dealt with when they're on duty. I'm not going to ask people to come on duty for it. Delay this until we get that conversation. I, I disagree. This needs to be handled. Okay, then the we conversation We have 24 hours happen. as we stated in our agreement. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to change my vote. Well, not if you're overruled here. I mean, this is what if we it's talked three, about in the last if, meeting. If, if it's under three daps, I still can. I see. So you want to issue them less daps to go around that. If it's something that's not going to be handled, and I believe it needs to be as a captain, I believe it needs to be handled today. So I, I think you're rushing this. I that, don't think I'm rushing it. I think it needs think to be done taken care of quickly. A week later. Right. I think things need to be handled quickly, but I think the proper routes need to be taken first before we take action. I did talk to everybody. Right. In the same room, though, because... And I don't think that is actually required. You don't think it's required, but statements don't match up. No, you just can make a decision based on your, your prerogative. No, situation we deal with. So we deal with situations every day that is he said, she said, and we need Except to make decisions. we can get these officers that. in the same room and we can sort it out. If If we can do that, in a reasonable amount of time. If not, I think it needs to be handled regardless. What's reasonable? 24 hours, like we stated in our conversation. All right, so if two people vote on the report to uh, wait to talk to them, you're gonna wait to talk to them or are you still gonna issue it? No, I'm gonna issue it because that's over seven. Daps and that's well within my ability as a captain. Thank so you so you're gonna lower it just to get around it, to, to go uh, around no, the other captains. That is voted. overstepping. So you are voting whether it's worth three daps or not. That, no, that we're is voting what that we need is. to talk to everyone. No, you are voting whether it is three daps or not. If you don't believe it is three daps, I will respect that and adjust accordingly. If people are available to me, I, I don't think it's necessary, but if that's how you think it should be handled, I'll entertain it, but I think this needs to be you're, handled. You're, today, you're actually, this is this is blowing my mind right now, Ruth. You're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're, you're, you're completely disregarding what we have to say. You're saying- No, I'm not disregarding you. No, no, you the are. Vote, no, the vote was always if it's over three daps. Not if always. You do not we think just it talked is worth about three. it, right? You're saying three. Oh, that I'm was saying, the vote. 
I'm saying we should talk. Right, and I've already had those discussions, and I believe it is case closed. All right, so why, why don't we get them all in the same room? Because stories aren't matching up. These are officers, not I'm random civilians and criminals on the street. Right, so regardless of situations match up, we know the individuals were in the back of a Group 6 vehicle. I think what we need to dap That's one doesn't dap. matter what the conversation. That's one. I'm, I'm, one, being in the back one. of a Group 6 vehicle without yes. any communication to other officers arriving on a scene. That is that is a dap, yes. You think that's just one dap? I do, yeah. Okay, I completely disagree because I believe that is unsafe and that is ridiculous. We would ever allow an officer to do that. Yeah, they shouldn't do that. That's why they're getting dapped. So what do you think the other daps are for? What are the other daps for? I, I believe that is three daps. That in alone it itself is three daps? You have no issue with yes. anything else that, that happened during that? Oh, I, I have issues, but I don't think that we can fully get to those issues because it is he said, she said. The only other one is the... Unless we get Aziz, them in a room. I will wear my vest when I'm out on patrol. Then I think we should be looking at more than three daps. This is why we should talk to everybody. We should get everybody in a room and talk to them. Oh, the other we thing is uh, Denzel telling Sonya that he didn't need her permission when she's trying to address So I asked about that specifically too. He said that wasn't the verbiage. He even said it in his statement. What, what does his statement exactly say? Uh, asserting he didn't need permission to talk to Charlie Idaho's. Respectfully, uh, I don't. he didn't need permission uh, to talk to the CIs. He's right. He's right. right. What he but did if a senior wrong was comes getting... to you and says is addressing an issue and then you say that back, you don't think that is insubordination? Honestly, she shouldn't be a senior. I think do, she do should. I think, do I think it's insubordination? Uh, no, because it's, it's not, there's no... There's no so rules if I go it. up to you and I say respectfully, I don't think I need to listen to you. That's different. How is that different? Respectfully, I don't need. I mean, it depends what it's respectfully, about. Respectfully, I don't need your permission to dap people. I mean, it's something we've already talked about. There are we've created rules around it. That's different. Right? Are, are there rules around CIs? Have we? Have we? Have common we, sense. If we have common to spell sense this is out, there, but do I you, have to spell out in the SOPs you can't fly an airplane on duty? Okay, do I have to write in SOPs that you can't dap people without a permission? I mean, I hope not because if department? I'm a captain and I can't dap without permission then I have no job being a captain. For one department, right? We weigh if in on I things together. Dap, you you if can, I can't dap without but permission. you want to go for over three, so we should find out about the situation. Right, and I'm saying if we can't make that happen, then I will deal with it accordingly. I'll deal with what I can deal with. Facts in front of me. I don't understand what direction you're going with this. You just want to do everything on your own, don't you? I want the ability to act independently as a captain, yes. And I don't believe we should wait several days to handle these situations no we, we we but we do need to address the entire situation as a whole and not just take everything at, at face value i mean i'm looking at i think it's three daps for the situation in the back of the car as well as uh the disrespect towards a senior and the i'll wear my vest when i'm out on patrol I also i'll think... wear my vest when i'm on patrol to you is is definitely a, a dap at the very least for sure with disease but if you really think riding in the back of a vehicle is only one dap then i mean i i guess yelling at somebody i think would only be one dap as well if that's absolutely not absolutely not she was she is the biggest problem out of all that the whole situation in my, I my disagree. eyes I, I my i wholeheartedly believe she should be demoted if she was on shift three i'd be pushing very hard to get her demoted that is not what we should be looking for. It shouldn't even be on the chart. That should be some self-control there. And there's zero self-control there. She lost control. That's why those words came out of her mouth. Oh, I agree. Uh, but I also think if uh, riding in the back of a civilian's vehicle while on duty without any communication is only one dap, then I think yelling at somebody is only one dap. <sighs> there's no winning here. Because I have a way bigger issue with what they did. What they did was wrong. I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't wrong. That specific action is not three dap worthy. The entire situation, I would say, I would say could, could encompass under uh, conduct on becoming an officer. I'd say, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't need to oh, be. Oh, do you know Aziz also um, accused me of creating the one dapped conduct on becoming of an officer to save Sonia? Where's that? He believes I created that in the SOPs, the one that we gave Denzel last time that you wanted. Right. The to one dapped save conduct. Sonia? Yeah, I created that so Sonia didn't get three daps and she only got one. That's what he accused me of. I, I have no idea where he's getting something like that from. And that, that is out of turn. That be shouldn't be. Because it wasn't in the original SOPs and it was added. I mean, we're going to add things as, as we see fit. We need to. And that was added for the past situation, not for, for this situation. So <sighs> Listen, we, we just need to get with everybody and just talk to them. Okay. That's what we need to do. Let's try to coordinate this. Let's try to sort this out. If everyone I, can do I agree, but I also don't think we can just keep pushing things, pushing things, because that's how things Well, we should give it a couple up. days at least. Two, three days. At most. At most. I don't think I'll be available tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow's Wednesday. So 
but that's what I mean. It, it, it's just going to keep getting pushed off like it always does. And I, I, I 100% agree or think this needs to be handled today because this is creating a lot of issues in shift one right now. I told Sonia wanted to apologize for how aggressive she got to, she did apologize to Aziz because she did feel she was out of line. She did feel what they did was wrong, but she also felt she was out of line with reacting that way. And she did apologize to Shiesty. She wanted to apologize to Aziz. And I told her to hold off until today after everything was handled. I'm, I'm not against dapping people here at all. We just need to get the full story. That's what I'm, I'm pushing for. Yes, it needs to be done in a timely manner, uh, but I think getting everyone together is more important than getting it done today. I, if we have I to push disagree. it off a day or two. Because I think the longer we wait, the more issues this is gonna turn into. What, what kind of issues are we talking about? Uh, there's a lot of tension in the shift between these people, plus others who they believe are siding with them, including myself. Aziz immediately thinks I am just overly siding with Sonia. He doesn't believe he, he thinks maybe a dap he should get for what he did, but he thinks Sonia needs three and should be fired or demoted. Right, if that, I that. don't do that, then I am biased. And he thought it should be handled yesterday. And the fact I am not doing it is a big issue. Right. Well, that conversation within itself is, is out of turn. It needs to be addressed with him. Uh, but we need to deal with the situation we have there at the dock. And then we can talk to him individually about that conversation. Right. One thing's the individual issue with him, the conversation. The other is a group and a uh, situation that we need to address. What do you think is going to come out of getting them together? Like, what are you, what are story, you trying the, the to truth. clarify? I feel like we're, we're, we're not, we don't have all angles. I mean, I, you're, I, you're I saying you have you everything, but, but for me, it's more the way people were talking to each other as opposed to. Uh, right. And I, I think a lot of that needs to be addressed verbally. I don't think that affects my dabs. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely affecting my dabs. How so? With, with the way that, that people were talking to each other in, uh, let me see here. Right, but specifically, how, like, what daps are you thinking about based on the conversation? I'm saying uh, uh, conduct on becoming an officer. It's like an inclusive. It includes everything. Not to individuals for... Right, but specifically, like, what are you trying to get clarification on what was or wasn't said? Uh, so it's the whole demeanor that was that was portrayed. I, I want I want to be able to have a, a single timeline from start to finish where if there's any discrepancies people bring up. So specifically, what do I want to bring up? Uh, if you if you read on uh, DeRolo's statement, DeRolo yell, yelled into a crowd that Officer Shaisi and Aziz to meet her away from the civilians. Officer Shaisi went to a crane away from and stated that he was meeting the criminal foreman. Officer DeRolo told him that he, he and the rest of the officers had no idea what they were doing, that they needed to be, uh, let others know where they are via 3 and one DeRolo told him that he would uh, be getting a verbal warning. Officer Shaisi in became, response to that, yeah. Right, uh, Officer Shaisi became defensive and said there were no rules for him to follow, that he would do what she said, uh, would not do what she said, uh, because he's following Cam's orders. That's not exactly how it came out from his words. So I want to be able to put them face to face so I can hear what actually happened and they could go back and forth. Shiesty also kind of said that, uh, despite being reprimanded, remaining silently, Officer Shiesty eventually said no disrespect, asserting he didn't believe he needed permission to talk to Charlie Idaho. And I think that's a very respectable way to say it. Is it I not? don't believe, if, if I am reprimanding you and I say, I don't need your permission for what you're reprimanding me for, I don't think that is a respectful way to handle it. I, I think that is if it's in a private conversation. You think people should be able to go up to a senior and say, I don't believe you have the ability to discipline me for what you're disciplining me for? No, I think you're taking it as that. That's not what he said. Or is it? Right. So she says that she is going to be giving him a verbal warning. And he states, I don't need your permission to speak to I Charlie Idaho's as a right. response. So is he taking it as uh, he needs to talk to uh, a, a senior plus every time he talks to CI? Or how, how I, I mean, that's, that's the thing. I want this spelled out in front of me. I, I want the timeline in front of me. I want to be able to ask him questions. Right. Okay. My issue was I've already done that. And that's why I have that no, clear you picture of it. I have. You have not. You have not had them face to face in a room and listen to the story. No, because I don't think it's going, necessary. Okay. Well, I do. At all. I do. I think it's necessary. I think, I think we have two different, the, the tones in which these, these, these statements are written in and the, the demeanor they're written in uh, is telling from each side, but it's, it's biased towards each side. I want to get them in front right. of each other. You don't I, think I this is just going to turn into a screaming match. It's, it, I think getting them portal. in a room together, we're not going to have any clearer of a picture because everybody has their own view of oh. what happened in their head and it's not going to change it. Then we're going to have a clear, a, a clear view of, of unprofessionalism and you know, that'll be taken into account. I just feel like I have done the process of investigating. So, okay. Listen, if we can't in get them in a room uh -huh. and prevent them from screaming at each other, how can we prevent them from doing it out there? In the situation with um, the Cornwood Duncan, you guys investigated it without me involved. Did you get all of them in a room? Yes. And I just wasn't a part of it because I wasn't necessary. We told you you're going to be doing that. No, you, you said you wanted to at some point. You didn't plan it. You just did it. Right. And then three, four days later, it came up again and we put them all in a room and we talked about it. I was not even aware of this happening. Because it happened at 9 p.m. or 
midnight right. Eastern. But that's the thing. So I, you guys dealt with it. Because it was during a shift that I wasn't available, you dealt with it. Right, there's two of us there, yeah. So because there's two of you again, it doesn't matter, in my opinion. No, it does. And we talked to you about it beforehand. Oh, yes. <laughs> Did we not talk to you about it? We told you we were going to meet with them, get them in a room and talk about it? Uh, you said you were thinking about that. I only know what was written in the report. You guys never even had a conversation with me about we, it. We did have a conversation with you about it. When it first came up, yes. Okay. That's why, it. Why do we have these two hour long meetings that we go back and forth? Why, why can't we see eye to eye? What is it? Because my issue is I feel like you don't respect anything I say or do. But you do everything I without like any you... re any regard for any other captain in the department. This no, isn't I your I... department. This isn't your how, shift. How many reports have you guys written up with every single statement, every side of everything? Zero. We've given statement or reports multiple times for different complaints. You have not, no. Okay. Show me one. Uh, the one with Cornwood? That with, was my uh, report. That was your report? Yes, I was the one who wrote all that up. Which one? He's got seven of them. All of them. Anything that's come my way, I've dealt with. Exactly, and I'm trying to deal with things coming my way, but you guys say I can't do it without you. Because what you're trying to push for is, is, is daps. Nothing I've had to really do required several daps. The only things I've had to deal with is in shift two and in shift one. Shift three has been fine. I haven't had to dap anybody in shift three. So obviously I'm not going to be writing up that many reports on it. Sure. Right. But that's what I mean is I, I am the only one that seems to be communicating any issues. And then because anytime I communicate issues. those issues, you guys say I can't handle it. And you guys think you oh need to handle Lord. it. Oh my Lord. Should we not have an opinion? Should we not I, I think it? you should have an opinion, but I also think I should be able to make decisions as well. And if I don't think an everybody together meeting needs to happen, then I also feel like that should be respected because right now it's a one-on-one, -on -one, Slack didn't say. Slack said we should all get into a, have a meeting. Right, but the thing is we also discussed these things need to be dealt with within 24 hours. We're just gonna go but in circles. If, if the meeting happens at 4 p.m., it happens at 4 p.m. If not, we'll figure it out from there. Right, but we're not issuing the dApps until we do talk. It, it depends on how long the talk takes. What do you mean by that? It's it's all situational dependent. So we're at least giving it a couple of days though, right? disagree okay well i disagree with that okay i i hear you but do you understand me i i, I hear what you're saying yes that, that wasn't the question i asked do i i i hear you that is all i'm saying do you understand me sounds like i am your insubordinate and you're telling me what i can and can't do no you so keep no, saying i, I hear understand. you so you don't understand what i'm trying to tell you i hear what you're saying i don't agree with it so you're gonna go it. over both our heads the other cabins I am going, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. And I'm not going above your heads if it is less than three daps. Right. So in total, you're going to issue two daps then? I don't know. All right. I guess My we'll see what happens My plan today then. was to go back through everything. All right. Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. All right. See you out there. Howdy. All right. You guys need to chill. Whatever's going on in chat, you guys need to chill. I welcome her to try to dap him, to be honest, though. Is, uh Turner would dap her right back and go over both captain's heads. We've already talked about it. She's gonna say that uh, it was under three daps, which is what we agreed on. But dap off. I mean, that that just sets a bad precedent, so man, it really does. Uh, if they end up, if they end up dapping each other, man, that just sets such a bad precedence.